question I'm often asked is, what's a mole? What does it mean? Well, it is the amount of substance. And here I've got one mole of a substance. This is carbon and it contains 12 grams of carbon, which is the same as its relative formula mass or relative atomic mass. If I compare that with another element, this is sulphur, we've got in here one mole of sulphur and this contains 32 grams of sulphur, its relative, basically its relative atomic mass. But if we look at these two we can see that there's an awful lot more sulphur in here than there is carbon. But in fact both of them have the same number of atoms in there. They have 6.2 times 10 to the 23 atoms of carbon and atoms of sulphur. And because we know this we can react chemicals together intelligently. If I have a look at another substance I've got here one mole of magnesium. Again completely different size but 24 grams of this. One mole of magnesium has the same number of atoms in here as in here as in here. If we look at compounds then it follows the same pattern. I've got one mole of sodium chloride. It's made up from sodium, weight 23, and chlorine, weight 35.5. Add the two together, 58.5. And that gives us 58.5 grams of sodium chloride. And that has the same number of molecules in it as these do. 6.02 times 10 to the 23. If we look at some water, here I've got a measuring cylinder. I'm going to make one mole of water. One mole of water is 18 grams, 16 for oxygen and 2 for the hydrogens. So if I pour in some water, There we have 18 grams of water, 18 centimetre cubed of water, and that has the same number of molecules in it as the sodium chloride, the same number of atoms as the carbon, the sulphur and the magnesium. We can look at other substances in exactly the same way. Calcium oxide. 56 grams, one mole of calcium carbonate, 100 grams. And then my system went wrong a little bit because in these containers I couldn't get one mole. I could only get half a mole of sodium sulphate. I could get half a mole of copper sulphate. And even worse, I could only get a quarter of a mole of magnesium carbonate. But all of these things have the same thing in common. They have the same number of atoms or molecules. 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Avogadro's number. How does this work? Well, we need to look at how reactions work and how we measure and work them out. Let's have a look at that now. 